That being said, I think that there are so many wine regions now. We've been talking a lot about Bordeaux and, and you know, it's one of my yeah. personal favorite districts. But there are so many great uh, wine regions that I think uh, deserve so much more credit than what they're, or attention than what they're getting. Like if you go to Greece, for example, uh, the Sino Mauro grape is just awesome. Yeah. I just love it. You have Blau Frankisch from Austria. There's, there's like, so many wine regions, like, stunning wines. So, I mean, it's I mean, it's always good to have all the classic regions and areas. Um, and you you need, I mean, in my opinion, you should have a knowledge or, or a, a, you know, you should know the basics about those uh, regions. But there are so many new wine regions now that are uh, producing just stunning wines. And I, I, I remember back to Greece, I bought, <clears throat> this is going back a couple of years, I bought, um, I went to this, we were in Athens, and I went to this local, it was a, it was a pretty good wine store. And I'm asking the, the manager of the store, it's like, what what is the best bottle of wine you have here from, from the area? And he's like, oh, that's, but that's a pretty expensive bottle of wine. He says, and I'm like, okay, just show me. And after he's been warning me for like three or four times, he shows me a bottle of uh, a Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot uh, blend, and it's a hundred euros. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. I'll take that. I'll take that bottle. Uh, and I'm bringing a bottle home to Norway, and I'm having it with one of these for one of these tastings. I'm having with um with my wine geek buddies. Yeah. Um, where one of them is a wine journalist as well, and everybody's like, this is Bordeaux. Uh, top estate, uh, mm -hmm. are we in Poyac? Okay, Saint Julia. No, 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 we're not there. What is this right back? No, it's not, it's not even Bordeaux, it's not French. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, what? <laughs> so, wow. I mean, yeah, uh, and and I understand why they were guessing that because it was it was a sh absolutely amazing wine. My only regret is I didn't take a picture of the bottle, so I can't really tell you what state it was, but it was, what was the estate? Nice. okay. So it was. Uh, how, I, I, how old? I, how old was the wine again? What? Uh, it wasn't that old. It was like maybe ten years old okay, or something okay. like that. So it wasn't really yeah. aged, but it was. It was just so very. And I don't. I don't necessarily think that it was a wine that you should store for thirty years or something like that. But hmm. at you know, for a hundred euro bottle of wine, it was uh, on on the level to say at least. Yeah, yeah, the value, uh, price value uh, ratios, especially in Greek wines and in Eastern European wines is, is usually very surprising. And Greece, as you mentioned, has, in my opinion, a huge potential to, to uh, come back to the, to the level of the great wine growing countries right now. Their wines are amazing, but their numbers, unfortunately, are, are their export numbers are not that great, but I think they have great potential. There are like hundreds, I think there are 800 uh, indigenous uh, Greek uh, grape varieties. So the the field to play with uh, in Greece is is amazing. And all the islands, the different regions, uh, totally agree that mm. that these wine regions should be should be uh, paid attention to. Oh yeah, absolutely. I think that and when you have countries where there are some parts that are rather warm, but other parts that are not that warm, you get a sort of a, a very big scale or scope of um, of the different types of um, styles of wines, which is super interesting to uh, to explore. And when you add the the extra layer of the, all the different grape varieties, then the the game starts. So it's like an infinite yep. combination game. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see the full episode, click here. Don't forget to subscribe and consider joining for exclusive content.